Hi, it's Karen again. Um, this is day one after I had the permanent spinal cord stimulator placed. Um, I had it done yesterday about 7.30 in the morning and it was quite a um, experience. I'm going to just go through as quickly as I can the things that I've experienced. Um, you go in um, they give you, you know, your anesthesia, your IV, the basic stuff for surgery. They put you, if you have ever had back surgery, they, um, they put you out and then they put you onto this table, um, onto your stomach, but it's not like a flat table. It's kind of this strange table. Your face is, uh, in it and then you're kind of, you're kind of like hanging and then your legs are supported and your arms are supported and they put you under. I suppose supposedly they put a tube down my throat because my throat is kind of sore and I kind of had a cut on my lip because they put the tube down my throat. Um but they do all that when you when you're um under anesthesia so you don't feel any of that and it's it's out by the time you wake up. Um the first thing I felt afterwards and up until now a little is this horrendous gas kind of pain that went right across my belly like a really painful pinching stabbing kind of it felt like gas and I'm assuming that's what it was uh, that was all uh, I was like chewing on uh, the gas X all night and drinking and doing what I can um, to try and get rid of that. But that was the first sensation. They gave me a lot of stuff uh, in recovery too for it. They gave me Compazine, uh, a couple of other things, and they gave me pain medication. Um, you know, you go into the recovery room. Uh, I was there for a while, and then you go into like a waiting room, and then they give you a cookie, and then you go home basically. I think I got home around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We had gotten to the hospital about 5.30 in the morning. The surgery was at 7.30 and everything went r according to plan. The doctor said everything went well. My representative from Boston Scientific came out when I was in the recovery room. He made up two programs for me and I have one program where I don't feel any, st any stimulation and one program where I do. And because I was in so much pain, I asked, you know, let's keep it on the one where I don't feel anything. And um, I'm thinking that it's kind of already working because I could find, even though I'm in a lot of pain from the surgery, I find I can get up and down a little bit easier and things like that. But right at this point, now like I said, it's just uh, over 24 hours after the surgery, I'm in a, quite a bit of pain. There's two incisions on my back, one where the the paddle was placed and one where the um, mechanism or well, the little kind of pacemaker was placed and I don't want to sugarcoat it because it hurts it it hurts I, I don't know how else to say it you've gone through surgery and it's very painful it was oh, near next to impossible to sleep all night I think I slept maybe half an hour to an hour maybe at a time I kept walking from the bed to the computer room maybe fall asleep at my desk back and forth back and forth um, overall I feel like I've been hit by a truck my arms hurt my neck hurts my throat hurts my, obviously my back hurts my sides hurt the only thing I could say that doesn't really hurt which is weird are my legs because that's what the whole point was is because of the pain in my my lower back and my legs and my legs are like the only things that don't hurt um, but right after the surgery until about maybe this morning my legs were very very shaky so if you have a walker or you've used a walker in the past I suggest you keep it handy because my legs were very wobbly right after the surgery um, and it's go pretty much gone away now. Uh, well, I felt like I was going to fall. So if you do have a walker or a cane or something, definitely keep it handy. Um, they say that that's from the stimulator being placed. That's what I read. Um, oh, what else? I 
one hand for some reason has all broken blood vessels on it I don't know what that's from it could be from the position I was in um, right now that's pretty much it all I could say is I feel better than I did yesterday because yesterday last night and yesterday I was a re really bad that's why I couldn't even make a tape I couldn't really do much of anything. Today I'm starting a little bit to feel a little bit better, but um, my husband took a picture of my back and it is, um, it's like the two uh, places covered with, uh, you know, it's like um, gauze and tergoderm, which is that clear plastic and you have to be able to have somebody change that for you. It has to be changed at least once a day for six days. You're, they say you can take a shower as long as you don't get that wet for six days which is kinda gonna be difficult I'll probably do more like sponge baths for the first six days and then after six days you're supposed to remove it to air so we'll see this is just day one so we'll see how that goes but um, that's about all I can tell you right now um, just yeah a lot of pain a lot of bruising uh, really feel like I got hit by a truck but we'll see how it goes and I'll come back tomorrow and update you